All right, what's going on, everybody? It looks like we're live, so I am joined here with John Zerka, and um, yeah, I heard you talked about veganism a bit, and somebody from my chat said you talked shit about me, so then I just reached out to you and offered to debate, and uh, we agreed to debate on the ethical principles of veganism. So, um, my position is... Hold on, course, hold on, hold on. What did I say about you? I don't know. Somebody just said, I just said, somebody said something in my chat. <laughs> I, I have no idea if you said something or not. Somebody just said that you... No, were... I want to I wanna know, do you, do you have this guy's name? What did I say about vegan gains? I have no idea. I, I don't know what that guy thinks you said, but somebody told me that you were like talking shit about me or something, and you've mentioned veganism before, so I figured I'd just email you. Yeah, Richard, that never happened. Okay, fair enough. So, um, <laughs> anyway, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not stray away from this. This is how you get people to debate you. Uh, yeah, I guess sure. What is the guy's name? I have no idea. It's just somebody in my chat. I can't remember who. <laughs> All right, Richard, you've been doing this way longer than me. There's no way you believe everything you read from chat. Uh, yeah, like I, I don't know anything about you, so I didn't really assume anything. I just figured I'd message you and set up a debate. Oh, wouldn't that be better than <laughs> saying I I went on a rant about you? Just email me. Uh, I guess. But uh, anyway, back to the topic. Oh, hold so up! Hold up! Hold up! <laughs> Let's get this straight. If I did mention your name, I laughed at your baby. Was it you that did the baby? You had the baby stomping clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that Can guy. Can you just explain that? What was that clip about? Oh, so that was taken from a video I made about why I don't want to have children. I'm antinatalist and uh, why I was getting a vasectomy. And that was a joke. And then it was taken out of context. If you saw the whole video, it was clearly a joke, but people have just no, taken that out of I'm context. Asking you, I didn't watch the whole video. That's why I'm asking you. Like, what, what's the joke? Well, the joke was just, like, it, that was the joke in itself. Like, I had an extreme, crazy, you know, kind of claim that I wanted to stomp babies. Like, that was the joke. It was kind of, like, absurdist, extreme humor. Okay, so, because you don't want to have kids, that's why you said it? Well, no, I said it as like a joke, but yeah, I, I don't know what that has to do with the debate proposition. Well, he here's what it has to do with it. If, is it irrational for me to laugh if someone in my chat mentions vegan gains and I think of that clip? No. So you agreed to debate vegan ethics, right? Right, right. But I'm asking you, is that irrational? No, uh, I don't so, really so, care so, about why so, you've laughed at me or whatever. We just agreed to debate vegan ethics. I'm just saying in the future, when you have other guests, it wouldn't be a big deal if they've laughed at some of your clips, right? If, if your name comes yeah, up I'm and someone laughs, laughs there's, no, a big deal. there's no reason to be like insecure about that, right? We all have crazy clips, right? Yeah, I, I'm not making a big deal out of it. So, like, the... Well, I mean, you started this debate by saying I was talking shit about you. Well, I said somebody from my chat mentioned that. Um, but anyway, I'm oh, not the on, one making on. a big deal out, out of this. I'm not making a big deal, but why don't you clarify to the world I don't do that? Okay, sure. You don't do that. No, no, not okay, sure. Do, I want to hear from you, Richard. Do I do that or not? Do, have no, I gone on sure. a rant about vegan gains? Um, I'm not sure either way. I haven't seen enough of your content, but if you tell me you haven't, then sure. I'll believe okay, you. Okay, so there's zero analysis done on my channel. I just get painted as a bad guy from the from the start of the debate. <laughs> what the fuck I is I wasn't this painting mission? you as a bad guy. I was just explaining how this debate came about. So anyway, uh, back to the okay, topic. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. You choose, and we will talk about it. You know, this is not, this is not like I'm stretching it because we have a lot of time. 
you choose to debate the richard listen to me you're choosing to debate the one guy on the twitch platform that has stood up for vegans for four hour debates on scuffed podcast for years are you so fucking are you vegan? kidding me no i'm not a vegan but everyone on the platform that is against me i would think the one fucking ally would be you I'm the only one standing up for you guys, and I'm not even a fucking vegan. And I get painted as this guy who talks shit about vegans? This is how we're gonna start? Okay, so you, I asked you what specific topic relating to veganism you wanted to debate, and you said vegan ethics, so I'm assuming you disagree with uh, the ethical principles of veganism. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there, Richard. I'm just curious, do I get my flowers from you and your community for talking about sentient life on a scuff podcast for three hours every single time I'm there when everyone's making fun of vegans and I'm the only, only one defending you guys. Do I get any flowers from you guys? No, because apparently you don't agree with the ethical principles of veganism and you're not vegan. Oh, so, okay, so I have to be vegan to join the army. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Okay, so my position is that animal rights is a logical extension of human rights and there's no morally substantive difference between humans and animals that would justify uh, slaughtering whoa, 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 and eating animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. Say that again. I already, we already have a fundamental disagreement. Say that again exactly how you said it. Yeah, so I think that animal rights is a logical extension of human rights, and there's no morally substantive difference between humans and animals that would justify slaughtering and eating animals. Sure, okay. We're going to jump around, but first, define human. Okay, well, I don't know if I really need to. Um, I guess... <laughs> Human would, yeah, I suppose human would be anyone who's recognized as human in our society. <laughs> Yo, come um, on, you're not really starting. Hold only. on, hold on, hold on. I don't mean to interrupt. I hate when people interrupt me. You cannot be starting off this horribly. Human is who people what? I'm just using the most general, fundamentally agree, like agreed upon definition of human, I guess. Anybody we, who would be seen as human in society? If or recognized I said, as human? If the tables were turned and I was the vegan in this debate, you would say that's bad faith. A human uh, is who is recognized that? as human in society? That sounds like you're trolling me. No. Um, whoever we generally agree upon as being human. So I could just say <laughs> homo sapien. Um, okay. <laughs> I, okay. That... I, I don't, th well, like, according to my ethical belief, not I don't think yours. it's really not important yours. that we I give can a... Google, we can Google stuff. It, it's not according to vegan games. <clears throat> I'm asking you, define human. You're saying who someone in society can subjectively point out? Is that is that what you want to lock in? Yeah, that's all I really care about. Like, my position doesn't really hinge upon any kind of really exact coherent definition of human like it could just be anyone who generally in society would be recognized as human so you could be an alien disguised as a human nobody would know I'd, I'd still say okay who cares that's a human as long as you as long as generally speaking society as a whole recognizes you as human then you're human i don't really care about any exact scientific specific definition it doesn't hinge on my argument so we're going to throw science out the window for the whole debate? No, um, I'm just saying there's no morally substantive difference between humans and animals that would justify killing and eating animals. Okay. I'm not going to go with this, but I want to hear your thoughts on empathy. So what's your position exactly? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't run from this. Empathy. Humans versus animals. Just clarify that. You're not really asking me a question. Okay. Can, do animals experience empathy, Richard? Yeah, they do. You needed me to ask the question like that for you to answer? Okay. You didn't um, ask me a question. 
Okay, I, if, I, if I have to do it like that, okay, we'll do it simple from the get-go. Which animals are experiencing empathy, Richard? Well, I'd say chances are most social animals. Um, it's entirely <laughs> how about possible. A, how, about a, how, how about a pig? Yeah, uh, they do. Really? Yes, they do. Uh, there's clear evidence for that. Okay, I, I would love to hear it, you know? Yeah, okay, sure. Um, they are social. They will help their young. Um, they will actually obtain food for other members of their group. Um, so, yeah, that's clear indication of empathy. And I guess the difference from pigs and humans is all pigs would rape and kill each other? If given a chance, I mean, animals rape each other all the time. What do you think of that? So what's your argument? Um, My argument is that all animals, all animals rape. Okay. Do you mean do you like disagree? Every... Hold on. You, no, 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 no. Don't be sarcastic and stuff. Like, I'm not anyone being can sarcastic. To be wrong. Is what, what I have said, is it wrong or right? Well, I don't know exactly what you're saying. Are you saying every single animal of every single species has okay. no, has no, or no. will commit rape? No, 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 no. Just the ones you care about. Let's talk about those just for the sake of the argument, right? Well, and, I care about any sentient animal. So are right, you it's, claiming it's, that all, all right, sentient look, animals of every species and every single animal of every species has or will commit rape? Is that what you're claiming? Not all, but given the chance, unlike humans, they will rape, correct? Whereas humans, just the bad ones, bad ones will, but all pigs rape. You know that. Uh, I don't know that. What do you mean you don't know that? If you were to watch a pig rape another pig, you'd be surprised? No, I wouldn't, but I don't do you mean know you about that claim. But you don't know that. What do you mean by that? You're not surprised that they do th these kind of heinous acts? And I'm not talking about some that, you know, oh, the prison population that does it. I'm talking about all. All, Richard. That's a huge difference between humans and animals already. And you can't go to the prison argument of, well, humans do it too. I'm saying all pigs. That's a huge difference from humans and animals. Okay, so you're telling me that the reason it's okay to kill pigs is because all pigs would commit rape given the opportunity? That's so stupid. I didn't say that at all. I said that okay, is the yeah. difference from humans and the sentient life you protect. And I protect too because I, I've been with you vegans. I never thought a vegan would turn on me. This is hilarious. Okay, so my position is that there's no morally substantive difference between humans and animals where it would be justifiable to kill and eat animals so my question to you would be if you support the idea of killing and eating animals for food what's the morally substantive difference between a human and an animal that would justify killing and eating the animal yeah the difference from a human and animal right we have speech we have agriculture writing tools large-scale cooperation and we're not fucking savages richard okay so let me write this down and create a list so um we've got so what's the first one the difference from humans and animals is empathy we also okay well you you speech. empathy speech yes. okay agriculture okay agriculture writing tools and large-scale cooperation writing tools no no writing and tools writing tools can okay, large scale cooperation and the last so, one and the last one we have souls we have free will okay. okay okay so is it souls or free will do souls let's do souls that's way better content okay sure um i don't think you're being honest about that last one are you religious I have to be religious to be spiritual? Uh, not necessarily, I suppose. Um, you're, you're an atheist, right? Yep, I am. 
not to not to like go off topic too much, but why? Uh, because I have not seen adequate evidence of a god existing. What about scientific evidence? Scientific evidence of what? Cause and effect. The effect of the universe needs a cause. I I don't know why it necessarily needs one, or if that cause would be a god. Right. So. You'll believe in science, cause and effect, but you won't believe it on a larger scale if we look at the universe? Well, if you're talking about an original cause, I don't know why I would immediately assume the original cause would be a god. It could be like some special particle or something. Oh, so what you're saying is you believe in intelligent design without a no. designer? No. Oh, random design? I I don't see any evidence that the universe was designed. There is no evidence that the universe is designed. Would you not even believe in evolution now? Evolution has nothing to do with design. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Natural selection has nothing to do with design. Uh, that's right. Just please, please substantiate your claim. It's literally in the name, natural selection. So, right. so you're beings saying it's that are more fit to survive will pass on their genetic traits. Right. So you're saying there is nothing, nothing about a cheetah that screams intelligent design. No. Right. That means if we follow your, if we follow um, this to its logical conclusion, we come down to the Big Bang theory and you believing every, the whole universe is just chaotic and random, right? That's the atheist position. So my question to you would be, hold on. If the whole universe is um, random, Richard, that would be equivalent to you believing if you throw a chalk at a chalkboard infinite amount amounts of times, that it will eventually write Shakespeare. You believe that, right? Sure, I guess. If there's an infinite amount of ch uh, possibilities, sure. It, that's bad faith. Let me ask that again. Infinite amount of possibilities. We're giving the quality of infinity, which is the quality of God, to matter, right? You believe if humans threw a chalk at a chalkboard for infinite amounts of repetitions that it will eventually write Hamlet. Yes? Yeah, if we're talking about infinite infinity sure are you lying to me right now no I, I also don't know what this has to do with the vegan debate I just said we're taking a detour you don't are you yeah, uncomfortable yeah, sure. with this part I I just rather not waste time okay trust me trust me we have time um, we're gonna go through the next points quick so just say for the clip right and Trust me, dude, I'm not your hater. I know you think I'm your hater. I'm not. I'm not. I, the, the, the way I speak is for content. But just say for the clip, yes, I, Vegan Gains, believe if humans throw a chalk at a chalkboard for infinite amounts of repetitions, it will eventually write Romeo and Juliet. Uh, yes, sure. Well, say the whole thing. I want to hear if, I it, if it sounds well, bad faith or not. It, it doesn't. If you're talking about infinity... Well, um, just say the whole yeah. thing, then, if you're confident. Yeah, sure. If you throw chalk at a chalkboard an infinite amount of times, it'll eventually write Shakespeare, sure. Right. And okay, there we go. We have go. no way to disprove that, but that's where you and I will always disagree, right? Okay. Yeah, I guess okay, so. Back, back to the veganism thing, right? You're telling me that pigs... And, I, you know, I love pigs and stuff like that, but you're telling me if given the chance pigs don't rape other animals um i'm not entirely sure does most of society go around raping um no but a lot of <laughs> so you're talking about opportunity a huge aspect of rape is opportunity i'm not talking about, opportunity. One of the reasons... I'm talking about i'm talking about instinct it's their instinct to rape care to provide empirical evidence for that come on dude i have to i have to always do a debate with you and bring evidence i have to bring but yes do you, do you want me to so hold on hold on hold on we can't even have a conversation you could just say that about anything there's no way you how old are you richard i'm 30. 
Oh, you look young as fuck. Holy shit. Okay, the vegan stuff is working for you. Well, you thank you. Good. Yeah. Thank you. You, you jacked as fuck, right? Thanks. But you're a lot leaner in that photo. Uh, you look better in that photo. But anyways, you're telling me that I need to show you evidence that pigs would rape any other animal? That's, there's no way a 30-year-old man is going to say that to me, dude. Like, I don't know why you faith. assume... Is that, is that bad faith or not? Like, it, it almost feels like my tone is trolling, right? It's content. But you're actually trolling me right now, right? Yeah, so I don't know why I would assume a pig would rape any animal given the opportunity. I don't really know much about pig behavior. And it's kind of weird <laughs> that you're bringing this up because in order for the animal agriculture industry to exist, humans have to rape these animals. And in the case of pigs, actually, uh, in order to inseminate a female pig, you have to sexually arouse them. So you actually have to play with their genitals to the point where they're sexually aroused, and then you'll actually successfully inseminate them. So you're missing, you're missing the salient point. I'm saying most of society, humans, don't go around raping. Okay. Um, Do you agree or? Yeah, I would agree with that, sure. Is that a huge difference between pigs and humans? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I don't know enough about pigs agreed. to know whether or not they go around raping. Richard, you just agreed. I, I don't think I did, no. I didn't. You agreed that's the fundamental um, difference, and now you're saying, I don't know, show me data. You, two seconds ago, you just agreed to me. <clears throat> what I said. No, I didn't. Okay, why would I lie about something like that? What the fuck? Well, I don't know, because you're full of shit. You just agreed that that's the difference. Most of human society does not do that rape stuff. But you just agreed pigs do, right? No, I said I would agree. Uh, I said I would agree oh that God. most humans don't go around raping. I right. didn't agree and, to and claim agree that, that most, most pigs, pigs go do. around raping. No, most I didn't animals agree to that do. point. No, I didn't agree to that point. So you don't believe it's their instinct? Survival instinct? No, I, I don't know enough about pigs to assume it's their survival instinct or anything. Okay, do we have to go to a different animal or...? I don't really care. Uh, what animal do you know about? Um, I don't know. Cats? Uh, dogs? Chickens? Do cats and dog rape? I'm not sure. Oh I, my I don't god, think they man. really... Dude, Richard, you're older than me. Yeah, I don't think they really do. No. This is the most bad faith argument I've ever been in. And you know what's so funny? You can easily win the debate if you give grounds on this. But you know, you know, you're you're being exposed to the difference between humans and animals right now. Yeah, I'm quite certain that um, animals like cats, dogs, don't commonly commit rape with <laughs> when they commit sexual intercourse. No. Are you are you thinking of domesticated dogs? Could be any. It uh, could be wolves. <clears throat> <laughs> Richard, you don't believe that. You're just doing this for your channel right now. Uh, no. I genuinely believe that. Do you have any evidence that wolves commonly commit rape? I need evidence to tell you animals behave like savages? Um... For the specific <laughs> claim that you're making. That's crazy, Richard. That's so, so crazy. So for the specific it. claim that you're making, yeah, you need to provide evidence that, I, I don't know, a species like wolves commonly commits rape when they perform sexual intercourse. So, um... You, you disagree with that, right? Yeah, so for this okay. list you created, empathy, speech, agriculture, writing, tools, large-scale cooperation... So, um, I would say pretty much any species that's social is going to have empathy. Um, and you can see empathy in the animals that we commonly eat, like cows, chickens, pigs. They take care of their young. They take care of their um, members of their group. 
uh, they uh, will actually even take care of other species in a lot of circumstances. Right. Um, I've I'm, seen I'm already... chickens take care of like baby kittens and stuff. Um, <laughs> I've seen cows take uh, like actually play and take care of uh, dogs and make friends with other animals. Have you seen so they... roosters rip apart chickens? Um, I'm sure they get into fights, but that doesn't mean they lack empathy. So sure. What about a lion? Let's say let's go to a lion just for fun. A lion will kill another lion's cubs if he impregnates one of the mates. Right? Sure, that's great. Um, right. That, there's a I'm lot not of empathy really with lions, about lions right? right now. Oh, you don't want to talk about lions. I don't. Well, I bet, I mean, let's go to chickens. I, let's go to chickens. We don't eat lions, so I'm saying animals are savages, Richard. Okay. Let's go to chickens, though. Right? Right? All right. So you're saying if a chicken was big, let's say a chicken was as big as a velociraptor, right? It All wouldn't right. go around pecking the fuck out of a human and acting like a savage? Um, it might. It might. Uh, there's a good chance. Dude, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Let's stop here with the chicken one. Do chickens eat meat? Yes or no, Richard? Yeah, they do. Uh, they oh, do wow. eat, like, oh, wow. insects That's... and worms and grubs and stuff. That is the one good faith thing you've said this whole debate. Thank you so much. Say that again. Yeah, so chickens do eat uh, things like worms, grubs. Um, I have seen chickens kill and eat mice. Yeah, you've seen on. Yeah, I saw that on YouTube too. So, is it logical to assume if there was large and we have to do hypotheticals to even do this debate, right? I know it's ridiculous, and there's like a twelve-year-old in chat that's going to be confused, but I don't give a fuck. If a chicken is as big as a velociraptor, is it okay to assume it'll see us like insects and fucking pick us apart? Yeah, there's a good chance. Um, right. Where's I'm the empathy sure here? Would, I'm, I'm really confused. Where's the empathy here? Uh, you can lack empathy for one thing, but have empathy for another thing. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, oh, that, what do you mean by that. having empathy anyway? I'm saying most of human society doesn't go around acting like a velociraptor, raping and killing and pecking the shit out of people. But a chicken most certainly will if given that size, right? That hypothetical size. And you know it. I know that. That's why that's why you're not afraid to walk downtown next to a human. But you are terrified. You would be terrified of a giant fucking velociraptor chicken. And the reason why I'm choosing a giant chicken is it's great memes. Right? There will be memes of me winning this debate and pictures of me on top of a giant chicken, Richard. But do you agree that downtown you would be less fearful of, you know, just walking in broad daylight next to, you know, humans? And I, you know, I believe society's fucked anyway. You know, I'm not defending humans too much, but I'm defending them against this, th these vegans, right? So do you believe you'd be much more scared of a giant fucking chicken than a random dude at Best Buy? I, I don't know. I don't know if a giant chicken would prefer to kill and eat humans. Uh, I'm not sure. You just said that they eat mice and living, moving, crawling creatures. Yeah, I don't know if they normally go after mice. Uh, I've seen a video of a chicken killing and eating a mouse, but I think that was because it was worried like the mouse was going to try to get to its eggs or something. Right. Or it so saw it. Worried. Right. So the chicken could not. So I'm not hold. sure. So you just said, and you know, I don't want to go from the point that I'm winning, but I will go for a combo here. You just said the chicken went to protect its offspring, right? And it lacked the, and you said it lacked the cooperation that humans have, and so in person that chicken would kill you because it would lack cooperation and empathy. I I don't know if a chicken would preferentially kill a human being. You uh, for that reason, like said, sharks prefer not to kill and eat people. <laughs> like I, I don't know okay. why right. I would assume like a chicken would like if there were a giant chicken it wouldn't. What about all right? You know, let's just do this. What about a hungry chicken or a hungry shark, Richard? Um, I'm sure if a shark was hungry enough, it probably would kill and eat a human being. Sure. Uh, well, yeah, maybe how, if a chicken. How come, you can't, how come you can't give a direct answer? I'm uh, like, dude, if a human talking... being were hungry enough, it would kill and eat a human being. There's plenty of examples of that happening. Uh, cam... uh, I can't hear you. Hello, hello. Right. 
There we I'm go. Gonna, okay, right so you have to, you, please go back to the cannibal part, please. Yeah, so cannibalism was pretty commonplace uh, during the civil civil wars in Liberia uh, because there was huge food shortage, but there were plenty of dead bodies. So like, human beings will kill and eat each other if they're hungry enough. Uh, there was a circumstance where there was a mm-hmm. crashed plane that landed in a very remote area. And uh, they were there for several weeks, and you know the people there were beginning to starve, and they killed and ate each, uh, ate each other to yeah. survive. So, like, do you, I, I don't do you know think why you disagree you're, with that. Yeah, I, well, I don't know why you're pointing out that I don't know if a chicken were hungry, it kill another person. Your when that's not a getting, unique. Your office aspect getting of, Richard. Your office getting. Let me tell you why. You just said humans will eat each other for survival when they are starving. But a chicken doesn't need to be starving. It could be just hungry and the size of a fucking velociraptor, and it'll come after you. There's no co- cooperation. You are not negotiating with a giant fucking chicken, Richard. Do you really okay. believe that those people on the island didn't spend weeks and weeks trying to figure something out and cooperating with each other? Okay, so you're saying a morally substantive difference between humans and animals is the ability to negotiate, cooperate? Yep, and empathy. Okay, so if there were a group of people that wouldn't be able to negotiate and cooperate, you'd be in favor of killing them all? No, that's an extreme that you and Destiny like to do because you're losing the debate. Well, then that is a contradiction. All right, play it out. Go ahead, play it out. Say it again. Okay, well, you claimed that the morally substantive substantive difference between a human and an animal that would justify killing an animal right. is animals lack the ability to negotiate and cooperate. And the example you gave is if a chicken were hungry, it would kill you. If a human right. were hungry, it wouldn't necessarily kill you. Uh, it would have to be like an extreme kind of situation, and you'd probably be able to negotiate. Um, now, yeah. if there were a hypothetical you know, person or civilization, let's say, like the... Uh, Sentinelese on North Sentinel Island that immediately kill anybody who comes towards their island and shoots bows and arrows and spears at them, uh, would you be in favor of wiping them out and killing them and turning them into ham- hamburgers? Because they're, they've are they been essentially trade equalized to a chicken where you can't negotiate with them? But they're living in peace on their own island. Right, and chickens aren't going to kill and eat you unless they somehow become gigantic. So, I, I don't know how that's... No, 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 no. It, it's not about chickens becoming gigantic, Richard. It's the fact that chickens rape and kill when given the chance they eat mice. You even said that. The, I'm, my argument is that they are savage by nature, right? Whereas most humans aren't, correct? You can go okay. to extremes, and, and you going to the island is the same extreme of you going to the prison population. It's pathetic. Majority of humans don't do that, Richard. Right? I know you black pilled and hopeless. You think, you know, I don't believe in society either. But let me tell you something. You agreed that most of society doesn't rape and kill. So if we're just looking at um, averages, if we're just looking at averages, humans are much different from animals. Huge. Okay, well, it's kind of strange that you brought up that chickens would kill if given up the opportunity. Well, humans do that, just a different species. Okay, well, do you want me to say that uh, animals are savage, not just chicken? Do you well, hold on? Do, you mean, even, do you hold on? Do we even agree, or do we have to define the well, word if savage? Well, if chickens, well, if chickens are savages and they'll like kill and eat other animals and everything, like why would you want to continually breed them into existence? To to eat them? Yeah, but wouldn't that make you a savage? Like, why would you want to no. commit harm and suffering to another species? Because I just told you that there's a huge fundamental difference from humans and animals. Okay, so if there were, say, a group of humans that were trade equalized to chickens, where they will, they're savages, they'll, you know, kill and rape and murder, would it make more sense to wipe them out? By some no, means, we, we, Richard, we put them in jail already. What you don't have yeah, to go to sure. an island. So, the... Yeah, sure. So yeah, sure. So why would you be in favor of putting them in jail versus breeding them and then killing and eating them? Because there's a chance you could get the wrong person. Okay, well, let's say that chance were not possible. 
um uh then and, then this is not even a debate you know let, let's say so that fair would you hey, let's hold on hold on let's say fairies come down let let's say let's say zirka gets a tetsaiga and beats a shomru in a battle does that make sense to you yeah, so whether or not a hypothetical is realistic or not doesn't matter. The point of a hypothetical is to test logical consistency. Couldn't I just confuse the audience by going into insanely, insanely hyperbolic hypotheticals? Wouldn't that... I, it seems like... I don't see how I'm that's being, confusing. I'm trying to center you in a simple argument, and you're trying to tell me about a fictional avatar wonderland, right? And it, it's like, the, if anyone was watching this they'd say you know zirka's at least trying and vegan games kind of trolling it right so you're so i i don't understand why you'd want to continually breed um animals or any species further that needle? is that is savage quote unquote that will kill and rape um I don't know why that would be the ideal situation. Wouldn't you want to wipe them out so that they don't commit harm? Uh, you just said kill and rape. What human is being killed and raped by a chicken, Richard? I never claim there's a human being killed and raped by exactly. a chicken. Exactly, exactly. And what do we gain from the chicken by breeding them? It's uh, we don't really like... gain much. We actually end up reducing our food supply when we consume animal products. Oh, that's a different argument completely, you know? And I'd probably agree there, but billions and billions of dollars that's a lot of jobs you're going after right there you know you're saying that there's how about this give me one positive of breeding and killing and you know poultry go ahead give me one positive of poultry go ahead i don't think there's any um I think there's only downsides right now i think you're no, lying right now. there's only downsides i'm uh, you, not actually convinced upside, uh, if you give me one upside i'll go vegan for a week Okay, well, you can't go vegan for a week by definition, but... Um, All right, how long do you want? <clears throat> well, the only way for you to go vegan is to adopt the ethical beliefs and lifestyle choices of a vegan. Um, you can't go vegan for a week. Okay, how long do you want, I said? Indefinitely? Right. Why don't you give me... All right, how long, how long is a realistic, realistic amount of time for this experiment? N no, indefinitely. Um, Is all so, your answers just extremes? John, you just go to infinity for everything. Yeah, I guess. So, John, I, um, I, I, you're just fucking, fucking with me. I can't even remember what we're talking about now. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I, I, <laughs> I do that. I do that. We got, we go off topic too much. But we were talking about: Is there? one good thing about the poultry industry you know and it's disgusting what they do to these chickens you know i 100 percent. yeah i don't i i'm not convinced there's any good thing uh so as far as I, I, uh, contributing I like to the wanna... food supply so as far as contributing to the food supply i don't think it actually does that because what about the you have to grain feed chickens what about the market the market right people's jobs. what do you mean why do you mean by the market people's jobs Right. I, I don't know why, if we were producing plant foods, uh, there wouldn't just be jobs in other areas. Could you assume that, let's say, that humans get paid less with plant foods? Um, maybe, but not Oh uh, my god! Did, did you say my... maybe? Really? So, it's possible, but not necessarily, because there's a lot of new... Um, Plant-based alternatives like mock meats, uh, not necessarily. No. Okay, I feel like you're lying there. One of the I do love, so I, I do love Beyond Meat Burger. I and that Starbucks one. I forget what it's called. <clears throat> I love those, but I feel like you're lying. You know, I feel like. Did you just say it? No. They get ate so the same? depending, so it kind of depends on the crop you're growing um, and what you're growing it for. But no, you're not necessarily going to end up making less money. The majority of U.S. chicken farmers live below the poverty line, so I don't know why you'd assume I'm not if they were to the start US. making. I'm talking yeah, about Earth. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know why you would assume necessarily that if you were, you know, producing plant-based product, you'd necessarily make less money. If a Vietnamese farmer was producing plant-based product, would he starve? Vietnam. Um, right. You don't have to go to U.S. Don't they? Don't like? Globally, isn't the big crop there rice? Right. Right. But I'm talking about poultry farmers. Right. 
Okay, do they make more money than rice farmers? Okay, I, I think you're missing it. I'm saying that there's so much benefit from breeding chickens globally that you can't just say, oh, all oh, plants. There's not even a demand for plants. Like, if. Uh, yeah, there if, is. Oh, my. There's a. All right, let's just go back to the US if you're not going to do it. There's a. Dem, is there a demand for meat, Richard? Uh, yes, and there's demand for plant foods. Right, but we look at averages because we're grown men, right? What is in more demand? Probably plant food, since that makes Dude, up the majority of people's you are a liar, man. Intake. You are a liar right now. Dude, so the majority go of the your caloric intake is made up by plants. So I think on Nobody that basis, that. there is a greater demand for plants. No, I'm asking you, is there a bigger demand for red meat or plants? Well, what makes up the majority of somebody's caloric intake? You're not Red answering meat or anything, dude. I've answered all of your questions. You're fighting these monopolies. You're fighting them, Richard. How are you going to tell me there's no demand? I never said there's no demand. You, you said asked, that there's there more demand, demand for, for plant meat Richard, or plant foods, Richard, and I Richard, said plant foods since it makes Richard, up the majority of your caloric intake. You're obfuscating again. There's no confusion here. <clears throat> what is in more demand? What leads to a net good? There has to be a net good with meat, the meat industry, right? What? No, and there don't, isn't. Don't go, but you got to substantiate your claim, dude. Is there a demand for meat that's way larger than plants? Yes or no? No. Like on what basis are you making that claim? The fact that all cuisines around the world are around a meat diet um okay so i don't know why that necessarily means there's a greater what, demand you, for meat do you smoke weed so dude, or can you high? so if you look at the uh majority of somebody's caloric intake uh on average it's not from meat so i don't know why you'd assume that there's a greater demand for I meat than for plants i didn't say that i'm asking you is there a larger demand for meat or plants, Richard? I, I would say plants, since that makes up the majority of your average person's caloric intake. You know what's so funny is, if you were right, you wouldn't even have a channel. You, would, you wouldn't be fighting the status quo. <clears throat> That's what's so fucking weird about this Yeah, tape. so if you look at staple foods in every country, uh, rice, beans, uh, potatoes, and oats, uh, those are all staple foods in every large successful society so i agree I, I don't know why i would assume there's a greater demand for meat when uh staple foods are never animal products and the majority of everyone's we, caloric intake prices? is from would, plant foods would you be less confused if we did the pricing on plants and animals I, I don't know why something being more expensive means there's a higher demand for it Let's just go back to empathy then, okay? Let's just go back to empathy. Um, I guess okay. I asked you to define human, and you said a human is who points out someone else's human. Can you explain that again? So like, I we, just we defined. So I just defined human as someone who society would generally agree upon is human. Um, you could say Homo sapiens, so some sort of genetic. Uh, code somebody who is born from a human and can interbreed successfully with humans. We could use any of those definitions. Sure. Okay. Can you give me some characteristics of a human that are that is different from an uh, a pig? Let's say. Yeah, sure. We're bipedal. Um, in general, we are more intelligent. We have the capacity for language, tool making. Um, there's plenty of differences. We're not pink. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I, I just don't see a morally substantive difference between a human and a pig that would justify killing and eating a pig. Yes, you did, because you agreed that most pigs do rape. No, I didn't. <laughs> you agreed and then went back to so you know So, if that, right? I if have the, the majority of humans committed rape, would you be in favor of killing and eating humans? I would see them as savages. Okay, so if the majority of humans committed rape, would you be in favor of killing and eating humans? Why would I eat them? What? Well, you said the morally substantive difference is rape. So if the majority of humans raped, would you be okay with killing and eating humans? 
Yeah. Uh, okay, so if somebody is convicted of rape, you think it's okay to kill any of them? No, no, you said in a chaotic society where everyone's killing and raping each other. <laughs> that you went to an anarchy example, you know that, right? Uh, okay, sure. I, I, I don't know then why it, would it matters be about... if we look at an individual or a group. Because, what... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Would my survive? Would my survival be necessary if majority of humans were killing and raping each other? Or, or, or do I? Have to I don't know. Like you're you're adding another thing now. Where now we're involving killing, like you mentioned rape specifically. Yeah, most humans don't rape like animals do. Do you disagree? Okay. I, I am not convinced that the majority of pigs, chickens, or cows commit rape. If given the chance, would they? Or well, just give me the percentage of I don't of know. Much. Okay. Assume. Let's just assume for just for the content. What would be the percentage of humans given the chance versus pigs? It's almost like one has a fucking conscience, right, Richard? Um, I don't know what percentage of humans would actually commit rape if given an opportunity where there's very low likelihood of ever being caught. Well, you I don't, don't have know. To, you don't have to add that part of being caught. You don't have to add that. You're still losing the debate. Um, this is like getting fucking weird and confusing. So what is your claim exactly? That there's a fundamental difference between humans and animals who are savage okay so and if we were to find savage humans so say humans that commit rape you'd be fine with killing and eating them we put them in jail already you don't have to right eat them. so what the hell? <laughs> uh Holy okay shit. so let's get rid of the eating part are you in favor of the death penalty say for somebody who commits rape no Okay, well, you're in favor of the death penalty for animals since they... Because I'm telling you there's a fundamental difference between animals and humans. Okay, well, apparently not humans that commit rape since that was your standard. All right, here, let me make it easier for you. What if I... All right, I am for the death penalty. Do you... Okay. Yes, go ahead. All right, so go on. I'm for it. You said you're in favor of the death penalty. Right. To anyone who commits heinous acts like that. Okay, so you're in favor of the death penalty for rapists. Yes. Does this make me now morally consistent? Um, not this exactly, because needed. actually... <laughs> well, actually, you said you're in favor of killing pigs because if given the opportunity, they would commit rape. So you're actually in favor of, like thought crimes essentially where if we could actually determine if somebody I never were said that. yeah well that's essentially you're in favor of punishing somebody before they ever committed a crime so let's say if you found out that somebody fantasizes about committing rape or wants to would you be in favor of the death penalty then lock them up yeah well are you in favor of the death penalty before anybody even commits no crime? no and, and I don't believe in a thought policing all right I'm okay, telling well, you, then that's we a have empirical evidence. You agree, I agree, that most animals do savage behavior. They don't have the empathy you think humans do. They don't. I, I don't know why you think, like, most animals have savage behavior. Like, wouldn't humans, since we're, like, literally holocausting other species? That's like, don't you think it's savage? If so you, don't you think you were, it's savage hold on, hold on, hold on, to commit that. a holocaust against hold on, animals? Hold on, hold on. The, the, the extremes are so cute, dude, and it's pathetic. You walk around amongst humans in society every day of your life, Richard. Okay. You don't need to go to history. You already, you already trust humans more than animals. Not really. Oh my god, man. This is three bad faith in a row. Explain. Go ahead. Not really. Let's hear it, man. Okay, well, if I give my credit card information to a pig, I trust it more with not stealing my information. <laughs> oh, my. We go back to cooperation. You're fucking hilarious, man. A credit card to your to a pig is where... This is the hill you want to die on? Yeah. Wow. That's a fatality, dude. You won. Wow. Okay, 
I, I swear I thought we were going to find some common ground because uh, you're usually good at this. Um, okay. How much do you bench, bro? I don't know. Believe it or not, I'm a fucking nerd now. So I uh, stream like 14, 18 hours a day. So I'm not that strong, right? But, okay. Uh, how about you? Yeah, I did a 315 for five sets of three. That's my PR lately. I haven't gone for a one rep max, but it'd probably be around 340, 350. Is this like dick measuring, or are we just talking about fitness? I don't know. It could be both. Okay. You're saying that you're a strong vegan. Aren't you really tall, too? You're like, how tall? Yeah, I'm 6'3". 6'3". Okay. Um, I guess you probably think you won that debate. I probably think I won. Can I ask no, you questions that we can just... Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. I love the ego. I actually, like, I love your channel, dude. I love people who debate like that. But sure. uh, I guess... Now that we're done the debate, how about you just win me over? Because um, I do feel like I won, but you can easily win me over because uh, I've been defending you vegans for years on Twitch. That's why when you emailed me, I actually thought that was like the lowest IQ move anyone's ever done. But you debate, you have a lot of hatred for other vegans on the internet, right? Um, I don't know if I have a lot of hatred for other vegans. There's quite a few that I dislike. How come you never ally? It's almost like they're taking your views and you have to compete with them. Wouldn't it be better if you guys allied up? Yeah, it would. The issue that I have with a lot of vegan organizations is they're run by like crazy radical feminists and their uh, politics are just, you know, insanely fucked up. Are you a Democrat? So, uh, no, I'm not anything. I don't identify with any political party. Uh, thoughts on abortion? So I've changed my stance on abortion. Uh, I think abortion's fine before the fetus is sentient, but after it becomes sentient, um, in many cases it would be immoral. In circumstances of rape or coercion or something like that, uh, I think it's okay. When is it sentient? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't actually, I don't have a, a strong stance on that. Uh, you Are you agnostic or atheist? I'm atheist. Why? Like, what? What holds you? I, I, I spend my whole life like that, but why? I haven't seen adequate evidence of a god existing. There's issues like the problem of evil, where um, the possibility of a god existing seems incredibly low to the point where I wouldn't even entertain the possibility. But by by definition, God is something much above you. How do you expect to rationalize? the reality like it's kind of like you want to understand the world but you're admitting that god is so much above you that's what it means right what does what mean i mean when you say the word god you're talking about something infinite something much way greater than you right well the typical definition of a god would be an all-powerful all-knowing all-good uh, omnipresent being so are you all knowing that you can understand the chaos in the world? No, I'm not all knowing, but so I can still use rationality to determine that just the state you, of the world. Um, you can use there's rationality no to understand something all knowing. Yeah. So if we go by a definition of God as an all good, all powerful being, uh, the problem of evil refutes the idea of God. Um, and I think uh, the evidential problem of evil is probably the strongest argument. But you're missing the point. By saying G-O-D, God, you're admitting that it's something infinite, infinitely greater than you. And you're that would mean infinitely higher IQ than you. But you want to tell me you understand this puzzle better than just because you see chaos and evil, you want to well, rationalize it and understand it? I don't get that. If we assume God is all good and all powerful, the problem of evil refutes an all powerful, all good God. It's possible to have a God that is either not all powerful or not all good, but I don't know why we would but consider I'm being like that God. I'm saying when you use the word God, you're talking about the metaphysical, right? So why would it have to make sense to a mere mortal? Well, it, it like, that's Isn't just, that just ridiculous. It's a, it's a contradiction. How? The, the problem of evil, um, especially from an evidential sense, 
refutes the idea of an all-powerful, all-good God. An all-powerful, all-good God would not allow evil to exist. But that's assuming that you know more than something all-powerful. No, uh, it doesn't. What? <laughs> okay, go ahead. I, I don't know why it would assume I know more than an all-powerful, unknowing being. Why don't, why don't you replace the word God? Hey, hey, let's do a thought experiment. Replace the word God with uh, infinite and all-knowing, and then tell me your your stance. That would be a lot easier for you. Infinite all-knowing. So this isn't a being uh, that's benevolent. And what do you mean by infinite? Um, I guess I'm just trying to say that it would be stupid if, if we both agree that God means all knowing, all wise. We're admitting we're a th infinitely, infinitely lower in IQ, right? By that am admission, right? You're saying that you're trying to understand the Millennium Falcon when you've never even seen, touched, you know, you can't even gra grasp what a <clears throat> Millennium Falcon is, right? So it's so, kind of contradictory, right? It's almost you're, like you're telling you, me. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So you're telling me that an infinitely intelligent, omnipresent being is not smart enough to convince me that it exists? What? All right. What if? What if that is the plan? Since we're so much dumber in this uh, case scenario, if we're so much dumber than something well, infinite, well, I see why would a we... very strong correlation between people being stupid and people believing in God. So I, uh, I... it's bizarre that an all-powerful, all-knowing, super-intelligent being would design things in such a way that only idiots would end up believing in him. But isn't that a contradiction to say that you see a flaw in something infinite, all-knowing? No. <laughs> That's kind I of see like... that a flaw in the claim that there is an infinite, all-knowing, super-intelligent being that's trying to convince me he exists. I guess, I guess it would be easier if you just said you just don't believe in God. But when you do the example of if you're admitting something is out of your grasp, right? And you're trying to rationalize something out of your grasp. And I have trouble comparing it to, let's say like... Um, that's like let's talk about the the sun right the sun you can't go touch and and feel and get close to the sun right you can't even grasp it you don't understand it right so no i know what the sun it, is would it be this is what i'm trying to say you are pretty much making the argument that well why does the sun why is the sun a big burning ball of gas 93 billion miles away when it would make sense if it was an electromagnetic universe like uh Right? It's like you're trying to make sense of something infinitely greater than you, and it's like, it's almost like a waste of time to argue like that. Well, right? we can we can make sense of the sun, so I don't right? think but that's can the you best make example. Sense of God. You can make sense of any imaginary fairy tale creature you want. I I don't know why rationalizing something in some way so is evidence that it exists. Explain me make sense of this can god create a door he cannot open i don't know you just said you can make sense of god so go ahead it depends like yeah there's oh these my, logical you're issues an, it's, you're an it if depends you're, if kind you're going of to define wow. if you're going to define god as all powerful like that's actually an argument that uh atheists have made against the idea of an all powerful god yet yeah, does lead to those contradictions Right. Can God make a door he cannot open? I I don't know. It's your f imaginary fairy tale creature. So right. you tell you don't me. Have to, you don't have to. You don't have to attack me, dude. Can God create a door he cannot open? Just yeah or no? It's your imaginary friend. You tell me. I. You just made the claim you can make sense of something. Metaf I'm asking you, can he make a door he cannot open? And you're yeah, saying it's I your don't imaginary know. friend. You tell me. This is childish, Richard. Why don't okay, you? Okay. Well, do you believe in Santa Claus? Yeah, yes, I do. All right. Why don't okay. Why don't you explain to me, Richard? If If you just said you can make sense of anything, right? We went to the sun example, and then we went to God. You said you can make sense of anything meta metaphysical, but you can't answer me the door question. You You just admit you can't make sense of it. So tell me, uh, what's the shape of the Earth? Oh, good one. Good one. Good one. Um, is this running or you don't want to do the God debate? 
Not really. I, I don't really care. Oh, come on. This one's so much fun. Dude, all right, last. Let, let me try one more time, right? And you don't have to keep attacking me, dude. I, I well, just you didn't answer my question. What's the shape of the earth? It's a triangle, dude. All right, okay. can I, can, now you have to answer mine, okay? Ready? Okay, sure. Can God make... You made the claim that you can make sense of something metaphysical infinitely greater than you. Can God make a door he cannot open? I, I don't know. It's your imaginary friend, so you said you're the you one who comes make up sense with the. Of it, Richard. You, you're you the admit, one who comes up with the I can mythology. Clip this up. So you you tell me. It, it doesn't even matter if it's mythology. You can't back up your claim. You said you can make sense of anything metaphysical. I'm asking you the most simple. I don't recall to ever see if you're saying logically that. Consistent. Do you believe you're logically consistent right now? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Can God make a door he cannot open, Richard? Uh, like, again, it's your imaginary friend. You tell me. This is kind of cringe. I don't, I don't know where to go from here. You just said you can make sense of it. Why don't you make sense of God? I I don't believe in God, so I don't know how I could possibly okay, answer I, that all right, how about this? How about this? I don't believe in God either. Okay? Okay, Richard? I okay. don't. Okay. Right? I'm on your side. You're cozy. Now can you answer me? Can God... If, in a hypothetical, right, just like your other hypotheticals we did, can he make a door he cannot open, Richard? What, assuming he's all-powerful? Yes. Um, I don't know, that's contradictory, because he, if he can open the door, then he was not capable of creating a door he could not open, meaning he's not all-powerful, but if he can't open the door, then again, he's not all-powerful. I, I, agree. I think the theist hold argument on, hold on, against hold on, hold on. that is finish. he doesn't have to have capability to do anything at any one time. Okay, so right. well, hold on. I guess let's, that's let's the best don't answer. Confuse, don't confuse the audience, dude. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, <clears throat> I'm saying, you just admit, right, that it's nonsensical. True. What did I admit? That it's a nonsensical argument, right? It doesn't make sense. Sure. You want to lock that in? I I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about at this point, so... That is so childish, dude. Just stay with me, okay? You just admit that the opening, making a door that he cannot open doesn't make sense, and I agree with you. Correct? Okay. Thank you. That, that's, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to tell you that when you try and use logic to explain something metaphysical it doesn't make sense just like god creating a door you can't open it wouldn't make sense to something infinitely smaller than the creator right which is you me or whatever in this argument do you agree you lost this debate uh no do you mind I if i do you mind if i chop this up and throw it on my youtube channel yeah no uh it's fine dude Chop it up, take me out of context all you want. It's fine. People do that all no, the no, time. No, no, I meant the whole thing, but the title is definitely going to be Vegan Gains Destroyed. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's fine, dude. You can change your title to whatever makes you f feel comfortable. But anyways, let's go back to veganism because I have to go to stream soon. Just win me over because uh, there's a lot of arguments I don't know about. Like, what is that Hong Kong study that's like uh, 1980, basically, like... Most of, the, most of these people in China ate meat and they live longer. The, the Okinawa thing, they eat a lot of fish and stuff like that. And they have the longest life expectancy. Is that all like memes and shit or is it real? So I think you're talking about the China study. And the China study found that the more plant-based somebody ate, the lower their cancer risk. Um, there's mm -hmm. been a number of studies after that. Uh, the, Adventist, the Adventist Health Study 2 found that vegans had the lowest overall risk of cancer and specifically for female cancers, uh, so breast cervical cancer, uh, vegans had the lowest risk. And I think also so, vegans have a lot less, uh, or I mean, uh, a lower blood pressure too, I think, right? Yep, um, on average, vegans have lower blood pressure, lower uh, cholesterol, so lower LDL, um, they tend to have lower risk of chronic disease like heart disease, diabetes, cancer. Uh, they tend to, on average, be at a healthy body weight. Um, yep. And they live 10, 15 years more, or was it 20? So I, I can't remember what it was. I think it was 7 to 10 years uh, longer, something like that. Um, that was the uh, vegetarian vegan Adventist. Um, I know this is anecdotal, but if you have to agree that most vegans don't 
they're not jacked up like you in that photo, right? Sure. Uh, is it possible that you're just genetically inclined to look like that? And most of them aren't really gaining much. Like I'm talking about the bodybuilders, <clears throat> you know, can, can I, I know you're going to go to the vegan bodybuilder thing, but you show some really cringy examples of steroided up guys who look very androgenic. Like who? Uh, I don't remember the names you were going. Through. This is years ago. I saw you. Uh, if we Google vegan bodybuilder, the, you know what it pops up, right? It's like a bunch of dudes who are literally on an anabolics, right? Okay, like who? It it depends. Um, I would assume. So um, I think what's his name? Um, Nimai Delgado. I think there's a very good chance that he's on steroids or at Ask least link. took them before. Uh, just yeah, like me, my Delgado, he was in the Game Changers. Um, there's a good chance that he was on gear. There's a bunch of other people, though, that I I, I'm not convinced take steroids. How do I spell Use Google. Uh, N-E-M-A-I, and then Delgado, just how it sounds. Use Google, look at this guy. M-E-L-I, Delgado. N-E-M-A-I, Nimai. Then Delgado, you just spell it how it sounds. Okay, I gotta sound it out for you, okay? Vegan bodybuilder, right? Yep. And you're saying this guy's natural? No, I'm saying he's probably <laughs> on steroids. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, are we looking at the same photos? Should I share yeah, screens? Yeah, I'm saying he's probably on steroids. You are the most bad faith dude I've ever met in my life. A men's physique pro is probably or is on steroids. There's no way to know for sure, but I'd say, yeah, there's a very high probability that the guy's on steroids. You're, you're telling me humans can have that DHT paper thin skin <clears> look <throat> naturally? Uh, it's possible. Yeah, there are dude, genetic freaks. Just, you, you're an ideologue, dude. If if you think no. this guy's nat, do you or do, do you ever attack, do you do natty or nots on your channel ever? Yeah, I do. And you'll protect him because he's a vegan? No. Um, look, I've made a natty or not on, uh, what's his name? The guy, fuck, I forget his name now. Uh, it's a big meat, Mike Thurston. Yeah, I made a video on Mike Thurston where I said there's actually a possibility that he's natural. I'm not convinced that he's on gear. Uh, hey. that guy isn't vegan and he looks like huge and jacked. So no, I don't have I'm not biased I in that sense. I don't have your stream open up. I'm sure you're streaming this, right? Um, but uh, can you just open up that photo and tell me that's natural? That, Which, that amount of lean you... body mass is natural. You know, we have photos of people from hundreds of <clears throat> years ago before anabolics were popular and how soft humans used to look. You think this is Yeah, natural? and nutrition and everything was different. So I don't oh, know. Oh my God. When you, did you do sky... that nutrition argument? The nutrition so argument. yeah guess what there's people who are genetically gifted there are like i've seen him next to people it doesn't look nearly as big when he's next to other other dudes so yeah depending on how you store body fat uh, like the way your muscle insertions look and everything and you're really genetically gifted it's possible but i i'm pretty sure he's on gear i'd say like 90 percent chance okay thank so. you why don't you give me a better example because if we look at his before and after they Physiology does not change that much, and what your argument of we have better training and nutrition—that's yeah, like yeah. saying—that's like saying MMA fighters are as good as they are because of better training and nutrition, not the anabolics. Well, yeah, the like I, I'm you sure that, that plays a role, but I, oh, I'm sure the anabolics and everything plays a role, or whatever performance enhancing drugs they may or may not take plays a role. But I mean, yeah, like training is certainly better. Um, Martial arts have evolved a lot since, you know, like 10, 15, 20 years ago. Interesting. Interesting take, because I, I don't think you're a dumb guy at all, but uh, wow, I cannot believe I'd ever hear <clears throat> vegan gains on the natty side of the argument. That's really weird. Like, uh, uh, what is it, USADA? Um, they've started doing drug testing in the UFC. Like, there are way more dudes doing gear in the early UFC days, uh, um, and the level of competition has only gotten harder. So I don't know why you'd assume. You're, did you just like steroids to, have anything to do? You appeal to USADA, the easiest drug test to pass. That most of these guys, and if you search well, up, a MMA lot of them fighters, got popped. A lot of them got popped, and that's true. you see a lot of physiques like melted and changed after right. they started drug testing in the UFC. 
Right, and if we look at this guy, Nemed, your your vegan I hero. I said here, there's a good chance he's on gear, but there's other like vegan bodybuilders who I probably aren't on I gear. Would, yeah, you, you said drop names. Go ahead, give me. Yeah, give me sure. Name. Uh, John list. Venus. Um, I wouldn't call him vegan anymore, but yeah, John Venus. Uh, Brian Turner. Um, pretty Hold certain. Hold on, let's he's... stop at John Venus, dude. Yeah, okay. sure. Right, just because he doesn't yeah, look... Google. Yeah. Well, you just... can Google him. Just all right. I I guess what I'm trying to say is um, most vegans do work out, right? They're very active people, and you you're picking like this small select few that are on steroids, you know, to show me. I'm wondering. I don't know why you assume argument? every vegan is on steroids. No, I assume every fitness model is on steroids. Okay, great. So how does that differentiate vegans from meat eaters then? You're you're showing me vegan fitness models and telling me they're natural. I'm not and telling it, you they're natural. I said John no, Venus is John probably, Venus? but what? John Venus? Are you, are we googling? Here, here's a photo. Here, show your stream this. I guess sure. Link it in the chat. I could have sworn we were going to be best friends on this topic. You're defending. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know head. why you'd assume John Venus is on gear. Wow. Like, okay. All right, I guess, yeah, humans just You can audience. look like that as a natural, but... Okay, why don't you look like that as a natural? Um, because I haven't dieted down to that level of you know, body at fat. your peak. At your peak, why didn't you look like that? What do you mean at my peak? Why didn't you look as photoshopped as John Venus and have all these fitness sponsors after you? Well, what do you mean at my peak? At, at your leanest, uh, leanest you've ever been. Well, when I was... The leanest I've ever been, I was pretty small like i i didn't build a lot of muscle at that point you're saying he just genetically destroys you no i i'm I, just I, saying like the photo that i have uh there i was only um yeah i think i was only 180 or 185 pounds in that photo richard um, i guarantee you you have better genetics than john venus he's just a hyper responder to anabolics i've worked in a sports club okay. for years I've seen juice heads. Most of them are obese, by the way. I've, I've seen people injecting themselves in my sports club. I've been around this all my life. Let me tell you something. Vegan games will never have paper thin Photoshop skin, right? This is this is what DHT drugs do to you. Just, uh, there's so many cool- Have you been on gear? I've seen out. some photos of you where you looked like you were on gear. Really, me? Yeah. I look like trash, dude. I look soft. No, no, there's some older photos where uh, I think you said you were competing in uh, physique. I never at one competed. Point? I never. I, I you never competed. Like, I pussied out. I wasn't good enough. Yeah, because I've seen some photos of you online where it looks like you know, I'll show. I'll show in the chat. Um, I'll link you. Yeah. The uh, photos, just in case. I don't know. This isn't me. This looks like you. About, I hope you're not talking about my profile picture right now, because that's small as fuck. Because like this no, looks like on, you there's... might have been playing around with gear here. Yeah, but pick a better photo. There's way bigger ones. This is like so Yeah, I mean, this, yeah, like this one here, that one looks yeah. like you're probably playing around with gear. We, yeah, which gear? I don't know. Um, you tell me. <laughs> it looks like you're probably on something. Okay. Like, uh, I imagine if you were doing a sensible cycle, you're probably doing a test base and then running some sort of oral steroid. Can I tell like, you uh, what I was maybe doing? Maybe D-Ball or Anavar. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. I was all vegan back then. Uh, yeah, probably not. I doubt that. I guess, I don't know, I, I, I think from the <clears> internet <throat> sphere, right? Not to suck you off or anything, but I do think you have one of the most impressive physiques from the vegans. If you want to push, the, this is like your religion, John Venus and all these, you know they're on roids, you're just lying to your audience at this point, but I think you're a better example than these fucking roid heads, right? Okay, sure, thanks. Like you at your peak in that photo, that's really impressive. I'm not gonna lie, right? All right, thanks. Um, you hold on a lot of LBM, right? But uh, are you familiar with more plates, more days? Yeah, I know that guy. Um, what do you think his analysis would be of these vegans? Uh, I don't know. Um, he'd yeah, have to make a video. It's almost like he knows as much about pharmacology as you do about veganism, right? He would probably say Nimai Delgado's on gear, and I, I'd say, yeah, like, chances are that guy's on gear. John Venus, uh, Brian Turner, those dudes, probably not. Are these your friends, or, like, why are you defending them? No, I can't stand John Venus. Fucking hate the guy. 
Okay, all right. <clears throat> um, yeah, I guess I just don't know too many. Um, I guess before I go, I really want to be one over here because I believe vegans 100% have better blood pressure, you know, and I, I believe in a lot of the health statistics, but it seems like a, a vegan base with meat once in a while or like that pescatarian kind of indulgent fish thing, it seems like, right, in Okinawa, that's what they did, right? And they have the longest life expectancy. So for No, so that's not true. Um, Okinawans have the... Uh, largest proportion of their population living over a hundred, they don't actually have the longest life expectancy. Um, Who does? That would be the Californian Adventist vegetarians. A vegetarian, really? Yeah, if you lump uh, vegetarians in with vegans, um, so basically people on a plant-based diet, they live the longest on average. Um, but Okinawa, Okinawans, they have the most people living over a hundred. It, it's a different thing. Mm. And, uh, actually because their diet's becoming more Americanized and they're eating more meat, uh, their life expectancy is going down. What about, um, <clears throat> I'm so curious to, I'm so curious if this is going to be a bad faith argument from you, but can you, I know this is a very stupid example, but just for fun, can you go to Mr. Olympia as a vegan? Uh, if you took steroids, sure. Like someone can beat Phil Heath, even though Phil Heath yeah. is. O someone can yeah, beat if, someone who ODs were... on amino acids. So if you were to take enough steroids and be genetically gifted, yeah, you can do that as a vegan. Uh, Barney can... Duplessis, who's the I think WBFF or something or Na no NABA. I no, think he was a NABA about... Mister Universe. He's vegan. We're talking about IFBB, Phil Heath, Ronnie Coleman types. You're telling me someone vegan can enter that <clears throat> level of lean body mass? And yeah. I'm, well, the reason I'm asking you is if you say yes, then I know this is a religion to you. If you say no, you'll win me over, dude. Why? Okay, so why is why would you assume that a vegan can't compete in Mr. Olympia, assuming they're just as genetically gifted and there's they're on as much gear? Right, because not one of them gets close to Phil Heath. Ronnie Coleman or any of them. Yeah, why, why are the top, why are the top one thousand bodybuilders all so like? And I'm not even you know into that high protein of that, but why are they so obsessed with it? And I don't. It's like who cares? They're killing themselves. A uh, high protein diet puts you in an inflammatory state where you age faster. You might be a little leaner, but you do age faster, right? Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not convinced of that. So in mice, if you put them on a high protein diet, yeah, they do age faster. In human beings, I haven't seen that to be the case. Are you, uh, there are, are actually you, studies in Americans? on high-protein diets. Yeah, so protein choice matters, but as far as just being on a high-protein diet, I haven't seen any evidence that it accelerates aging oh, in humans. Oh, you mean plant-based high-protein? Yeah, like, I mean, if the oh, majority okay. of your protein is going to come from red meat and garbage, then, yeah, you're probably going to have a shorter life expectancy. But if it's coming from beans, lentils, you know, soy, good, good sources of protein, I, really... I don't know why you'd assume it would lower your life expectancy. I mean, this is what we see, right? But uh, what about, I'm really against starches. What, how do you feel about processed foods and stuff like that? Um, not all processed foods are bad. Like if you're eating protein powder, I, I don't know why you'd think it's a bad thing. Um, like there's supplements that you might need to take like vitamin D, B12, like those aren't bad for you. Um, so processed food necessarily isn't bad for you, but generally speaking, it's a good idea to avoid processed food. So Those, like, yeah, avoid sugar, avoid, uh, yeah. you know, uh, refined flour, grains, you know, things like that. Or were the, were, are those more dangerous than meat? <clears throat> um, yeah, I think it just depends. Oh it my It depends on the context. God, you did the it depends thing? Yeah, so is white bread worse for you than red meat? Probably not. Wow. Okay. Uh, what do you think of Americans switching from a high fat diet to, you know, they went from bacon and eggs to muffins in the morning time? And you know, a lot of people say this correlates with their, the spike in obesity, that they switch to more carbs. What do you think of yeah, that? Yeah, that's just fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> carbohydrates don't cause weight gain. Uh, eating in excess of calories causes weight gain. Right, but it's, it's, a also... e it's a lot easier 
to eat an excess of calories with carbs than foods that satiate you like proteins that are hard, hard to digest true so okay so there is actually research on satiety effect of food foods that are high in carbohydrate fiber water are the most satiating uh foods that are high in protein are also quite satiating yeah, but we're, we're talking the about least satiating foods are high in fat low in fiber yeah, we're you know, talking, carbohydrate water we're talking about processed foods versus meats right now it doesn't okay. have to always be vegan you're telling me okay if i gave chat a big bowl of cereal and a giant steak i'm pretty sure the cereal is going to be done in two seconds and the steak's going to take the evening I I don't know why you'd assume any of these things. <laughs> three hundred grams of carbs versus three hundred grams of protein. So I'm there's sure actually gonna... a recent study. Oh on my this. god! There was a Kevin. There was a Kevin Hall study on this this sort of thing where he compared the satiety effect of a ketogenic diet, so a diet high in fat and protein versus a diet high. Well, sorry, just a normal diet. Um, he found that actually um, the normal diet that had a balance of carbohydrates, fat, and protein was more uh, satiating than a diet that's high in fat and protein. Um, okay. What about? So I, I don't know why you'd assume that. I'm not. I'm yeah. not debating you. I'm just talking to you. You know. You know. Like I. Yeah. If, so if I, I don't studies, know why you'd assume like a steak is more satiating than like a bowl of oatmeal. Mm, I guess what I'm saying is the Fruit Loops I can really crank calories with, and the steak I'll take my time with because it's harder to digest, right? Okay, like maybe I'm not recommending anybody eat Fruit Loops though. Well, I'm talking about processed foods, right? Okay. Okay. Um, processed foods certainly contributes to obesity. Yeah, I, I, I would wouldn't disagree with that. A bigger danger. Um, sure. Yeah, well, I'm sure. I guess that? fundamentally, I'd agree with that. No way! From everything I've said today, you agree with that? Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, can I? You know, I really want to stream, but you're actually fun to talk to, man. I'm not gonna lie, you're good at this. Okay, um, sure. I don't think you won the, any of these debates, by the way. Just to be okay. fair, you know, and I think fairness right. is how we're gonna have more content in the future together. But sure. You personally, Richard why devote your whole life to protecting animals and you know it's a noble cause i like it if you come from an ethical point of view but why not starving humans uh, because animals are the most oppressed and abused group whereas humans there are already plenty of organizations that are dedicated to feeding the hungry there aren't nearly as there isn't nearly as much of an effort dedicated to ending the animal holocaust right i'm talking about the magnitude like a child in syria or, or in a war zone i'm a refugee i'm from a war and i came to canada here i'm wondering you don't want to dedicate your life to you know they don't have to be hungry but you don't want to dedicate your life to children who need you you're gonna go for chickens yeah there's already plenty of organizations that are doing that, like helping starving kids. What? There is very little effort. Well, there's very little effort dedicated to helping animals, and I'd say animals are fu suffering far greater than humans. Okay. All right. A chicken suffering versus a child. What's the difference? Okay. Well, we're not talking about one chicken versus one child. We're talking right, if we about were, if we were, billions. We're talking about you're talking Richard. about billions of land animals versus like yeah. I'd say hundred thousands or millions of humans but potentially not, like the <laughs> the difference is massive you're, you've locked horns with a vegan debate but I'm, we're not talking about veganism i'm talking about richard as a person that yeah I just explained to you <clears throat> right? a, a, ch a child that's in trouble versus a chicken or a child suffering versus a chicken suffering what means more to you? What's a strong? What, what's stronger on your conscience? What means more to me? What's stronger on your conscience? Okay. I okay. Well, if we're talking about what I'm going to put effort towards, um, with solving, I I'm just going to put more effort towards the animal issues. I didn't ask because, about solving. Again, there's already. Okay, I'm forget solving. That's okay. We're moving away from the plot here. Okay. Um, what is harder for you to see a chicken suffering or a child suffering 
harder for me to see. Um, yeah. Probably the animal suffering, honestly. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I love you. You're so, you know, I love that you doubled down. Wow. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, I just see animals as, like, more innocent than even children. Um, it just, I don't know, uh, I feel worse when I see an animal suffering versus a human, even when it's, like, a child. How, how, okay. Um, how is an animal more innocent than a child? Well, chances are the child's going to grow up to eat meat and kill animals versus the animal. It's like, you know. You don't know it, it doesn't really have much control over its life and it doesn't really have moral agency where it can make uh, morally mm -hmm. substantive decisions does the animal, so, doesn't the animal I guess that's have part of it does an animal have moral agency when it rapes another animal no probably not does a child go around raping other children yes yeah, so uh, I don't know why we're back on this topic I'm not convinced that chickens cows and pigs going around raping each other mm-hmm I, I guess I'm trying to say, if they do it to each other, when given the chance, would they do it to a human? Like, if they could. Like it's, Who it, would do it to a human? It, would animals rape you, Richard? Probably not. I, I don't think so. <laughs> if they could, they would just... Oh, no, that's vegan games. We gotta, we gotta protect him. You think they just back off? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I was bent over, passed out naked... A cow wouldn't try to have sex with me. Right? What about a dog? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they'd just sniff my butt. I don't know. Depends on the what? dog. What? Are you, are you a child? You've never been humped <clears throat> by... You've never... Richard, you've never been humped by a dog? Well, humping can be a number of things. <laughs> can be like asserting dominance. Can be genuine God. sexual interest. Can be a lot of things. <laughs> Say that again. A dog can hump you for a number of reasons. I don't think a dog actually thinks that when it humps your leg, it's going to, like, have sex with you. <laughs> I wonder... I, I just... I can't, be, I can't believe how much okay, we disagree. So cause you're are, very are we going to end on this, like, whether a dog would have sex with me if I'm passed out naked? Yes. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on, dude. Yeah. Take yeah, care. I mean... I mean Richard, let me tell you something. Um, I guess we, we had a good one, but... Um, sure. Like, you're a rude guy, true? Yeah, I, I would say I'm pretty rude. Right, and you would agree I'm pretty rude too. Yeah, yeah, and you we are. Kinda, we kind of built followings the same way, like doing that? So, yeah, pretty much. I don't think there should be any bad blood between us, you know? We are the same nature, if you think about it. Kind of. Uh, I think I'm a little more serious. Yeah, obviously. I think I'm, 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 I'm more about the memes and stuff like that. You're definitely more serious. But, uh, I mean, I'm trying to say that uh, even if I'm rude in a debate, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate your time. Does that make sure. Sense? Yeah, sure. I'm not being sarcastic, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, right. I look forward to you having, an, I will set it up, have another debate with Steven because I love you two together. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'd be down. Okay, man. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Take care, dude. Peace, peace. All right. Well, that was interesting. <laughs>